what is going on? It is T Blake. It is Tuesday. It is time for another weekly sneaker check in. I'm playing NBA 2K13. There's been a lot of commotion going on in the NBA, especially with Sterling and the decision today. Now, that's one of the questions that was asked. Um, but man, just designing this little character here. I figured I'd give him just a ridiculous outlook. I don't know. I'm not very... You'll find out very quickly here. I'm not very good at this game. Um, so, <laughs> there's always that. Uh, let's get right into the questions. Uh, first and foremost, this comes from uh, Andy. He asked me about the Everglades. Now, the Everglade uh, LeBron 11s were announced today. I'm looking for... Right now, I'm looking for the emoji tattoo to put on him. And they didn't have it, so... Um, the Everglade LeBron 11s uh, were released uh, officially today with a release date which is May 17th and they are looking very sharp. Um, I might pick them up. I don't own any LeBron 11s currently in my collection. I, I, I found them to be a little bit bulky um, and, and wasn't a huge fan but you know it takes a, it takes a special colorway to kind of get my uh, attention that's definitely something that I don't have in the collection and, and looks really cool um, Getting into the question everyone wants to talk about this is from Corey Hunt his thoughts on Donald Sterling in the NBA playoffs um, you know, it, it's uh, It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty much dragged out as far as it can go. It's I don't really see uh, a solution being solved. I mean, yes, he, he got banned from life, and uh, they're going to try to forcefully sell the team. But, you know, when you have a lot of money like that, you can pretty much litigate uh, and, and delay things for a while. So I'm not really looking for, for a quick fix, but I think it's cool to see how people responded, uh, you know, to, to something like that in that case. You know, granted, people were tolerating what he was doing before. Um, I, I don't know if necessarily tolerating things is the best approach, but... I think the the decision today was, was very harsh, and I think uh, made a lot of people feel good about it. So, um, this coming from Matthew J. Yakimovich says, "Fly nets, how do they fit, feel, and perform?" Um, I love fly nets. Uh, I'll say this. I said this about another sneaker, but they fit like a sock in a good way. They're super lightweight. Um, they're comfortable. I don't have any issues wearing them all day. Uh, and a lot of the pairs you can you can get at outlets. So, um, not a bad model to pick up. Noah at Rental Toast asked, what do I think about the upcoming Jordan 2 uh, releases? The Elephant Safaris I, I really like. Um, I'll show you those right now. The Nightshades I, I don't like at all. And uh, it, it's, I don't know, the colorway, I just I can't picture what I'd wear it with. Uh, and the CDPs are, are super classic, so I'm excited about those. It's just nice in general to see uh, the Jordan 2 kind of make a comeback here. Um, Next, uh, Jose or Classy Jose says, uh, "What releases are you excited for this holiday season?" Man, we're we're going way far in advance here, uh, but I think if we we count Black Friday as the holidays, I'm really looking forward to the infrared sixes. Uh, I think that's going to be a great sneaker and a great release. I actually sold my old pair uh, in preparation for for a fresh pair because uh, these will have a little bit more tinted outsoles and stay looking clean a little bit longer. Uh, Michael Belosky says, how do I feel about Nike.com changing the release time to 10 a.m.? Um, it doesn't really affect me. I'm more curious to hear how it affects, affects you guys. Um, being in college, my routine's a little different. Um, so I am not really affected by release times or, or changes like that because I can just usually be on a computer. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, this coming from Jay Grimes says, am I copying or passing the Concord 11s? I'm actually going to be going for them. Um, Jordan 11 lows get me excited for some reason. I think it brings back memories of when I was, you know, first camping out for sneakers. Two years back around the same time, there was like a varsity red um, colorway that came out. That was like one of my first reviews. So I think that sneaker and silhouette brings back a lot of memories for me. Um, now, coming up in this video, by the way, uh, those were all the questions for today using the hashtag weekly sneaker check-in, so I appreciate you. But just listen to, look at this shot. I, I don't know how to play the game, but I put up this three. And just listen to the commentator right here. It's ridiculous. I don't mind that shot, though. He's an excellent three-point shooter. He's just showing a lot of confidence. So, <laughs> I just started, I literally started laughing, man. This game, I'll, I'll figure this out. Um, I don't want, I'm not going to be playing anyone in this for a while, so I get a little bit better at it. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this weekly sneaker check-in. If you did, hit that thumbs-up button for me. Too like signing out. Peace, guys.